kind of talking to our buddy Daniel, and I you know, can see at the corner of my eye Ricky holding something. And I look over. Are you kidding me? Preview tape, promotional tape, Bucky O'Hare. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna get these chubs, and I go to reach in my wallet, and I hear. It was like it was like the angels. Here we go back outdoors with all of our friends to another Game Tower event, by the way, which is Ricky and I today are stopping by the Game Tower trade by self trade event thingy. It's always fun. Always too good because it's basically a swap meet. It's outdoor, people set up, and basically it's gonna be if you went to a little swap meet, it's only stuff you like. So we got games, toys, and all the above. Nothing, let's see what we find. What are you looking for? Honestly, any. But you know, I'm gonna be hardcore back on the grind looking for those Genesis games. Ricky's looking for his stuff. We'll see if there's turbo stuff today. Whatever ones resell for the best value. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I want to get me some Surger Journer, sirs. And let's do it. Here we go. Beautiful weather, beautiful people, beautiful air, beautiful everything. Let's go. There's, there's no time to waste. Bro, what am I talking about? Castles, rainproof or soaking wet. I got you, bro. I got this for self. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, gamer action uh, wear, like, they gave us some shirts right here. Right when we get there, we just literally walk up, and Mikey's in the parking lot. What's up, dog? Bam, Yay. look at these fire shirts right there. And Mikey opens his trunk, and I thought he was going to try to sell us something illegal, but no. Uh, we got the bubble bobble. Oh, yeah, yeah, Got yeah. the bubble bobble on deck. Bob and Bob. What's, what's Gobble got over there? Gamer Action Wear. They hooked us up with some cool t-shirts. Everyone in the squad got a t-shirt. That, that's a, sick. A that's cool. sick. Nice blanket. Beautiful prints, beautiful look, nice thin material. They hooked us up just for the sake of being awesome. That's messed up. <laughs> that's messed up, bro. <laughs> Ricky and I went and changed right away. Mikey already had one on. We're like, we need to rock these. Check it out. Look pretty nice, not gonna lie. They're beautiful. Fit pretty good. Y'all awesome. And now we can hunt in style while looking. Just, just literally sexy. My, I'm gonna put it in a bit. It's too cold for me. He's gonna I, put it on a bit in eBay, he said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, thank you again for always putting on awesome events. Thank you, honestly. I love yeah, you. Look at that, look at that. Just for you guys. <laughs> We walk into the actual event, and the first guy that we pretty much see and stop at his booth. I, ju I just showed up, and I see the man responsible. <laughs> this, this. Hey, look, he's doing what he did last time, ignoring me. Remember? Oh, yeah, I know. I'm gonna ignore you. Is Chubbs be gaming? He was responsible All right. for the Genesis speakers last time. I was. Night. This is the same guy that is basically responsible for the whole debacle, the fiasco of the Sega Genesis speakers for selling them to Ricky right underneath my nose for a cheap price. They were going to be 40, but I gave him the brown discount, so 20 bucks. <laughs> he knew I wanted them. But he does something. Something I wasn't expecting. He's like, hey, 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 Riff. 
I know what this caused. It caused some heartache, even though I got the Genesis speakers in the end. Thank you. Uh, all right, so this was a uh, E3 2011 20, uh, 20th anniversary. He goes, I got you a gift. You don't even have to pay for this. And I'm like, what could Bruh. it be? Oh, what is it? I don't know. Is it going to be something Sega related or anything? Wait, okay. E3, E3. 2011 20th anniversary t-shirt. E3. But then he goes on to tell me that he's giving me something from E3. Already cool. 20th anniversary. Okay. Even cooler. From 2011. Sonic the Hedgehog. T-shirt. E3. Oh, wow. I see this. So, so, uh, so this is the shirt they would hand out at the booth. We're driving down the boulevard, cruising with the windows down, feeling like we're on this town. Your song is on the radio. From E3, back in the day, like the Holy Mazuli. Not only is this thing awesome and cool because it's from E3, it's the 20th anniversary, it's retro, it's Sega Genesis, but he also tells me, wow, okay, if, you, let me see this. if you open the shirt, there's a, patch, there's a patch right here, it says 20th anniversary. The inside of there, if I open up the casing that he put it in, that there's a 20th anniversary patch as well, but I'll be honest, I'm not even gonna open it yet because I'm just gonna kinda throw it up on the wall for now because he put it in a beautiful case for me, a beautiful frame, made it look awesome. And this is E3? Open it. I'm open it now, bro. Like, Honestly, thank you so much. And before I'm even done talking, he's like, wear it. He said he had some more stuff because last time, I mean, I said wow. he was the controversy. Yeah. He just starts handing Ricky in the background a Star Fox VHS promotional. Yes, one of the more. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Popular promotional tapes out there that a lot of people know about. Still awesome, still so cool. Star Fox, you don't have that one. Because there's variant ones. I right. don't have this so, one. So right. nice of him. And then he hands Gabo. Oh, thanks, this is a genie for the Game Boy. Oh, the Game, Boy. Yeah. A game genie for the Game Boy because Gabo's been saying oh, oh, dude. Dude. he's been collecting the Game Boy stuff lately. But I'll be honest, Gabo, you you kind of suck at collecting the Game Boy stuff. Sometimes the truth is painful. Mmm, you game. No wait, but I needed that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to start it again. I was trying to start it again. No, I'll <laughs> Pretty much have bought nothing Game Boy in any episode. Hey, this is this fire. Yeah. Anything like E3 memorabilia stuff, I love that kind of stuff. So we're walking around the expo just having a great time walking and shopping and talking with everybody at the event and it's just, this is what we need to be doing. What is that, bro? But with that, I see Ricky kind of talking to our buddy Daniel and I can, I can see at the corner of my eye, Ricky holding something and I look over. It's pretty sick. Although he made a big mistake by not charging 64. And it's a beautiful, very beautiful Nintendo 64 Japan Carrying case. That's sick, dude. That's <laughs> super sick. It's cool. Yeah. Wow. Sixty. Marked at sixty dollars, and this thing is the Gucci. This thing's beautiful. This is this is a catch me out, bro. Uh, it's absolutely stellar to look at, and I'm like, Ricky, sixty dollars is a pretty good deal. Wait, so what just happened? So. And Ricky's kind of debating. I don't know if I should get it. I don't know. But then Daniel, our amazing friend who has been kind of hanging around us at some of these events, you might have seen him hanging around with us. I pitched him 20 bucks for the uh, 64 dude, case. Ricky bit. Ricky bit. So Ricky basically got this thing for 40 bucks. Dude, not gonna lie, this is probably one of the coolest cases I've seen. It's, really cool. it's big, it's beautiful, it's one of those things where when I saw it from far away, he saw me make eye contact, I was like, no, 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 no. looking at you. What's going on over there? Awesomely cool carrying cases. It's one of my more favorite sub-genres of collecting that I don't collect for myself. I'm actually pretty excited about this. I'm gonna put it right next to that Super Famicom one. Oh yeah, the one I Sorry. sold you, gave you, traded you, whatever we did, I don't know, something. Yeah. So I'm a little jealous, but very happy for Ricky. It's beautiful. Daniel, so nice of you to pitch in. You're always hooking up the squad. I mean, now I just need a sweet Nintendo one. Just regular Nintendo, all three of them side by side. We're stupid, we're dumb, professional idiots. That's it. Totally fits. Yo, 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 yo. Just another sunny day. Southern California. It's where the people came to play. Hey, 
Somebody draft the paper sports game. <laughs> I'm cruising around, eyes peeled everywhere, looking at a lot of cool things, and our buddy Edwards. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt. What's up, bro? Who you might have seen from a couple videos. He's the guy who is making Rarity, the awesome documentary that I'm so excited to come out. Riff was part of my documentary, Rarity, retro game collecting in the modern era. But he goes on to tell me that he's doing something really cool and he's giving me an actual producer credit in the documentary, Rarity. He did a lot of stuff behind the scenes that made a lot of interviews happen and... I actually did help him get a lot of contact with people that he interviewed. He's literally finding this out on camera right now. We're giving him a producer credit on the film, as well as... as you well are? As, Thank you. I really appreciate that. But then he pulls out something. As well as... This guy here. Now, this sick. looks like a bootleg battle troll, but it's not. He gives me a toy that looks like a bootleg version of another toy, but no, it's a Canadian toy line called Street Warriors. This was a brand called Street Warriors, which was released in Canada as a response to battle trolls. And I guess apparently these things are very hard to find. They're very rare from what he tells me. It is one of the rarest toys on the planet Earth. You will not find a single thing about it online. You will not find a single boxed figure for it online. He has like the only complete collection that he's ever seen online of them. I have the only complete collection in the world. I got this one. These retail from anywhere from 65 to $120. And he gives me the guile version of it. And he, for me, guile's the, kind of the king of Street Fighter because he's all about America. If you've been watching the show, you know I love me. It's an American guy. And they're impossible to find. Look up Street Warriors, there's no Wikipedia for it. It's a small company. This guy? Yeah, so that is the guile. They have a Blanca, a guile, a Terminator, an E Honda. So honestly, thank you. You never have to help us or do anything for us. I say thank it again. Buddy. Thank you, sir. I'm glad to be a part of it. And when it comes out, we'll let you know. Rarity. The movie documentary biography. Say. Buy something? Yes, sir. What'd you buy? Well, Godzilla's coming out, so you know I had to get a little Mecha Godzilla right here. I, I somehow knew Mikey was gonna buy that. I don't even know how. My brain was just like, he's never even bought anything Godzilla in front of me. But I knew he was gonna buy that. Nice job, John. You know, you know, hey, that's you pretty know, cool, Don. Hey, thanks. Don. There it is. Oh, man. Gabo? Is Gabo gonna pick this up? Did I ever tell you I collect Street Fighter controllers? We'll have to check back in a little later to see if he actually makes the purchase. It is a Street Fighter. It has to go to my brown Indiana Jones collection. While I'm talking, just sitting there hanging out, I see a video game kind of go up in my face, and Daniel, he, he just bought this without saying anything. Always helping us out, always helping us collect and get things we need. Super awesome guy. <laughs> You can cry, bro. It's okay. I love you, man. You just cry. Let me say. I said cry. Puts Spider-Man X-Men on the Genesis right in front of my face. He's like, I got this for you. Interesting enough, Spider-Man X-Men, I don't think that's the actual name of the game, but I think that's what it says on the box. It's just a weird name, like Spider-Man X-Men. It'd be like a game called like Contra Mario. I, I don't have this game. I don't no? have. The, I'm, I'm keeping this on like. Uh, no, no, I don't have the case, box, manual, anything. You know, I, the game. I don't have the game. I don't have the case. I don't have the manual. I don't have anything. So thank you for it. It really helps me. My dog is barking. Oh, it don't matter to me, bro. If it has a manual. Oh, it, it, it does have a manual. Look at that. But as far as the actual game goes, it's uh, mediocre at best. It's a side-scrolling action platformer, as many games were during those days. But I remember there was some pretty glaring issues with the game. Yeah, you can play between pretty much a lot of different characters, Spider-Man, Storm, Gambit, ETC. Hey, hey, bro, real talk though, thank you for real. We come to these and we don't deserve the stuff that's given to us, but we appreciate it. Only I think I think I only liked playing with one of the characters, and the game just felt lackluster. Always, we really it's all about the community, man. Community all day. Community all day. Community is number one. Ricky and I were literally talking yesterday about how like YouTube, like I don't know, we don't care isn't the word to say. We're like we don't 
you don't care about like the numbers and stuff. It's just like this. This is what it's about, you know? It's a family thing. It is, it is. It really is. It's like a family little Thanksgiving event together. Help each other all the time. I like that, bro. You're good, man. And Genesis is the one console I'm giving myself the excuse of buy games for it, even if I won't play them. You know that, though, right? Gabo and Ricky were off hunting without me. They kind of disappeared for a little bit, and then they show back up with some toys. Nikolai Butkut. I just bought this. <laughs> what? Who's what Nikolai Butkut? <laughs> All I can think about is how much I honestly think he, the figure looks like Gabo. Who's right. Nikolai Butkut? Well, I think he just cussed me out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm offended. So the Popinski. I don't know what the figure is actually representative of what the character really looked like in real life, but to me, Holy cow, his face literally looks like yours. <laughs> Bro, it looks exactly Wait. like yours. Holy cow, it does. Oh, oh my, my god. god. All I could see was Gabo in that character. I'm sorry, that's it. Why? I believe in reincarnation. I can keep your oh. butt like him. Oh god. But then Ricky also got an April O'Neil TMNT on card. April looks awesome, bro. <laughs> April O'Neil, the wow. ravishing reporter, by the way. I don't think I've ever seen that version of her. I really liked it. Her hair looked awesome. Captain Planet? Captain Planet. Dang. He's our hero. Gonna take a look. Captain Planet mug from a lunchbox. And man, Captain Planet was cool back in the day. The power is yours. Captain Planet. He's our hero. Gonna take pollution down to the sea. What are you? Hey, he bought a thing. I bought something. Yay. Hey, Gabo did buy it. Right on. Gabo always has been collecting these controllers. He's been showing them on the show for quite a while. Great man, he gave me a good deal. He did? Yeah. Nice. 20 bucks. Nice. nice. We then head up to Game, Game Tower, Tower to kind of go peek in the store. I actually always end up buying quite a bit of Genesis games in this store. Wow, look at the background, bro. <laughs> hey, look behind you. Look behind you. You got a beautiful man back there. But when we walk up, Brian greets us, the awesome employee there. He greets us, as he always does, with a gift. It just, it just never ends, so we're just going to keep being cool to everybody because everybody's too cool here. But he gives me... Oh, dude, you know why that's bad? Because on video... I just said that I got a Model 1, but I'm giving it to a friend who's starting to collect. So this is awesome, but I have to admit, have to admit, a friend of mine just recently got into collecting. I might be giving this to him because he's starting to get into collecting, wants some Sega Genesis stuff, and I'm like, hey bro, I might be able to hook you up with this, so I'd rather, you know, pass along the love and give it to someone than just to be able to say, hey, I have a Model 1, so. So that means I'm out of a Model 1, and you see. And then Brian gives me a Model 1, so it just, you know, see? They're just never ending giving. You just keep being cool and people be cool right back to you. The community is the circle of life, bro. I, I'm glad you landed that high five because I wasn't looking. I just had the guy. <laughs> hope right. you were doing I gotta put this. Hey, will you put this in my backpack, bro? Thanks. I got you. He okay. also gives something to Ricky that is really useful and beneficial. Ricky. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Funny enough, Ricky has asked me if I had one before. Oh. Literally just in the car the other day was telling me he needs one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a four terabyte. Wow. A four terabyte. Wow, I did it again. A four terabyte hard drive for the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One. Ricky honestly recently just asked me uh, where he could buy one because he needed one. And look at that. Hey, hey download hey, more of me. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, Ricky. Oh, out of hey. <laughs> what do you know? Ricky B's cool. People want to be cool back. That's the circle of life. Every time I get come to game time, they treat us really well. Look what they got me. They know I'm the Funko Pop guy. It's the only Funko Pop I've seen all day. So thank you very much. And this is really weird looking up, bro. My neck hurts. Uh, Funko Poppy, Cuphead. I like Cuphead. business no more goofing around no more joking anymore okay we are now gonna be looking for Genesis stuff I want to get some more Genesis stuff so I'm, I'm searching through Elliot's 
through his through his stock. Let's see, Golden Axe is a goodie. I think I have that one. Fantasy Star 3, I have that as well. Picking out some random stuff, my buddy Edward from the documentary starts picking out some stuff like, hey, you should get this this game. It's actually only five bucks here, but it's actually higher on the rarity chart. Bubsy, Bugs, James Bond, oh, Ricky, Ricky. Ooh. stuff like that. So I get a pile going. Elliot, how much for all this stuff? There's some good stuff in here. One of the games especially that I was looking at was Rastan 2. Wow, Rastan Saga 2. <laughs> which literally he had marked at like around 20 bucks and then he told me he'll give it to me for three dollars. Well, look, yo, just because it's damaged, we'll just do three bucks. I don't even understand anymore. But basically, I had this whole pile built and it was maybe like a $60 pile or so. Yeah. All right, so now that it's quieter, the games that I did get purchased for the Serger Jernersers, which by the way, Elliot gave me all these for like $18. What a wild man. But he gave me the whole pile for $18. Holy schnazuli, there's some good stuff in here, like pigskin football, and like I said, James Bond, Bubsy 2. Uh, Mortal Kombat 2, with the beautiful Blockbuster sticker on it, that was from Gabo. That's another birthday present. Because it had such a big Blockbuster sticker. You literally couldn't tell what game it was from the front. It was a giant sticker. Uh, Rastan Saga 2, Rastan 2, for the Sega Genesis. Which in the game, it's a pretty cool game, I wouldn't say it's amazing, <laughs> but the sprites in it are really big, and I think you have like a, like a weird punch in the game, if I remember correctly. Like there's no like swing in it, it's like he's doing Wing Chun from Ip Man, where like all of your moves are with him. There's no backswing. You can't even see me doing it. Dang it, camera. Son of a Gunther. Bubsy 2. I actually didn't hate Bubsy 2, to be honest, at all. Bugs Bunny 2, James Bond 007, which was very low priced, I'll be honest, but I guess it's a 11 out of 12 rarity. It's not worth a bunch, but it's apparently not that super easy to find. And Pigskin Football as well. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know what it works. is. See how he works? Oh, shoot! I didn't know it go off. <laughs> I was watching this back, and man, the sound it makes when it hits Gabo's mouth. <laughs> open your mouth. Open your mouth. <laughs> open your mouth. I don't know why I love that sound. It got me every time I heard it. I replayed that like 50 times. Open your mouth. <laughs> Oh, and uh, apparently Elliot was like, you shouldn't have blown that. We didn't have to clean out the dust yet. And I was basically blowing all the dust into Gabo's mouth. Oh, you know what I just noticed? You probably threw all the dust. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I ever told you. That's really good dust. I think you'll ever start. Oh, you're my phone now. Legacy collection. Actually, yeah, no, 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 last time we was here, yes. I bought the first one. Do you remember that? I do remember Very that. Cheap. I just got done buying all these Genesis games, and I'm feeling good. We're all feeling good about some of the stuff we're buying. Gabo bought Mega Man X2 collection or something like that, by the way, as well. Happiness, baby. Happiness. Ah, How happiness. you doing, man? How's everything? And then we're walking out of the store, and we literally get stopped by an awesome person again as we're walking out. And man, he's got He's got so much cool stuff for us. What a, what a nice guy this guy was as well, by the way. I want to point that out. Super cool dude. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Yeah, baby. It, oh, fine. I guess he is what it is. He gave Gabo an awesome shirt and it is what it is shirt. Reach out, reach out. All right. Open up. Open up. Jeez. Oh! Yeah, that's sick. He also then went on to give Gabo some awesome, literally very <laughs> little jealous. No, you can't be jealous. That's from, oh my. I got that one as, when I was a kid, man. Really? Yeah, Ooh. had that since so I was Daddy Warden. Warden. God, they look so cool. I'm not even a big Iron Maiden guy. I do like Iron Maiden. Ricky! Ricky! <laughs> oh, man, these, are, these were gorgeous and beautiful. It's very beautiful. Hey, bro, what's up? Are you trying to sell that or what? And then he goes to give Ricky and I stuff that I, it's like the kind of stuff Ricky and I will fight over. Actually, I actually got more than three and I'm gonna let you guys fight it out. Uh-oh. I know oh. you're a Bucky old hair fan. We, we both are, we both yeah, are. yes. Shoot, But okay. I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> Man, he was handing us the Ninja Turtles coming out of the shell tour, how it was made, VHS. Oh my gosh, in 1990. Turtles? 
We're gonna fight over both of these. I don't know if you guys have that one. Oh, I don't have this one. This is the making, bro. The making oh my gosh. In 1990, the Ninja Turtles did this live show, this live tour, which later came to VHS. Little cheesy little goofball oddball but really come on that was awesome stuff as a kid and I love watching that stuff now I got the behind the scenes of that wow <laughs> cool. wow <laughs> he gave it a preview tape, a promotional Bucky O'Hare VHS tape. Are you kidding me? Dude, that's, that's, oh my that's, God. A, that's a promotional. Dude, Look at that. promotional. Are you kidding me? Preview tape, promotional tape, Bucky O'Hare, all those three things in one. Good gracious me, oh my. Ricky and I, uh. Oh boy, I don't Yabo have this. gave me that one. I have that one. Oh, I and think. I don't. We had some good talks on the way home about who should get these things. But in the end, we were so happy he got us a Donkey Kong Country VHS tape as well. One of the a funnier one that I've seen on YouTube a bunch of times. That one's yours, my friend. Oh, dang, he's trying to get Bucky O'Hare. Let you guys divvy up whatever you guys we'll want. We'll fight on the way home. Uh, such a cool dude. So thankful, so blessed to be a part of this man. Oh, it looks so close when I close my eyes. So Grab a bite to eat. Where do you think we went? It, it, it's break time, boys. I mean, I don't normally do fast food these days, but man, a Del Taco. Good old Del Taco. Yum, 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 yum. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Del Taco hit the spot. I'm just sitting there chilling with the boys. Day after day, alone on a hill. Laughing, goofing, relaxing, chilling out, Max and relaxing out, cool and shooting some Del Taco outside of the school. Felt really good. You guys got any spare change? I left you guys some drinks. <laughs> so we go back over to the outdoor area at Game Tower's event and we're kind of cruising around and I see Ricky go right back to Chubbs B Gaming and I'm like, hey, he's picking up something. What? Dude, so we, so I found this worms Armageddon. I see him holding a Worms collection on Xbox 360, and Ricky and I love the Worms video games. We're like, man, these are awesome. Ricky's gonna pick like, them up. I kind of, I don't know, never, never played this one. And I, I hear Ricky, I hear Chubbs talking, and Chubbs is like, Ricky, you get the brown disc out. Of course, he gets the brown disc out, five dollars. Damn. Oh. So if I want something, I have to have one of these guys ask for it. Yeah, oh, damn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh, I've never gotten the brown discount. I'm jealous. <laughs> but with that, I'm like, all right, all right, Chubbs, I'm, I'm going to see what else you got here because I myself want to see what else you got. You know, end of the day, maybe I can pick up a couple little more things. And I see on the table, loose. All right, so now I'm filming. <laughs> so I just bought Virtua Fighter 2 and Fatal Fury for the Sega Genesis. Virtua Fighter 2, game that I don't have, game that I like. Fatal Fury, game that I don't have, game that I like. So I'm like, I need to buy these off the man. And he gave me, this is a coveted, this is a coveted thing. Picked them up, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna get these chubs. And I go to reach in my wallet and I hear, it was like, it was like the angels. It was like the heavens opened up. I could hear the echoes of the words he said. He gave me brown disc. I got the brown discount. Brown you, discount. I really hope people that watch this show don't get offended by a lot of stuff because we're just having fun, all right? You can't hang, get out! Whatever. <laughs> and then Gabo at the same booth buys Halo 2 with the steel case. Did I ever tell you I'm collecting Xbox games? Yeah, a lot of them. Beautiful looking, beautiful looking display case. Well, the game's in there as well. I'm missing this one. You don't have the limited collector's edition? No, I got the game, but I don't have the... So wait, let me see the price on that. We're gonna do called the white price, and it's 14, so you pay 20. Wow. Oh. But then, <sighs> Chubbs, Chubbs be given. Brown discount. Uh-oh. 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 $4.99. Oh my God. Yeah. Chubbs gives Gabo an Xbox arcade stick. Oh, 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 my God, oh, dude. 
Dang, that's no sick. way. That's a, a cool looking arcade stick. I always love greens and blacks together. I think those are two colors that look good inside of like a, a chair or anything gaming related. That's this actually is really amazing. Sick. Oh my god. That's actually really sick. Let me give this guy a hug. Uh oh, here we go. Very good color scheme, original Xbox. You did it. You done good. Careful. Watch the hands, watch the hands. Gabo has that new strain of COVID. <laughs> I was like starting to walk away and Ricky's like, I'm buying something else, I think. Ricky's over here buying Runbo for the Wii U and we're gonna all be honest with you, we don't know what it is. I'm guessing it's an endless runner, but I might be wrong. So Ricky picks up Runbo for the Wii U, which I thought, I admit, I thought Runbo was an endless runner. The reason Ricky really wanted it though is, right, is because, oh, oh, right there, Shovel Knight's in there. Oh yeah. So I think I, I could have sworn it was an endless runner, but I might be wrong. But the reason Ricky bought it not knowing what it was is because when we looked on the back, Shovel Knight was on the back, so we're like, Ricky, you gotta get it. He bought it. I feel like I used to watch the trailer for this. But apparently it's what's called a party action platformer. And I gotta admit, I watched gameplay, still don't know what kind of game it is. It's a party action platformer. So whatever that means to you, oh, I think it's up to nine players as well. Rumble. Oh, I got it for Rumble. five dollars. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's dope. I like that. Oh, I need to watch it. We were having such a good time at this event, this wonderful event at Game Tower as always, that we forgot to like film an outro or a B-roll or anything. We just said, let's go, we're having so much fun. Let's, we just kind of lost, lost track of track time and everything, time that, and everything happened. that happened. <laughs>
What? Is this a figure? I think it's like a giant it's a it's a statue. It's big a old statue. box with Chief Wickham in it. It looks like almost like a chess piece, but it's more like a statue. I love this. It's big, it's colorful, and it's Simpsons related. That's a trifecta of things that I like. Polystone bust? I think we're gonna have to take it out of the box though, Ricky, right now. All right. Bro, it's pretty I... already. It's up to you. So I'm sitting there excited, and I thought that was it, but then Ricky's like, dude, there's more in there. Oh, shoot. Oh, so wait, they're on pillars. Yeah. And I pull it out, and then there's a Bart Simpson one of the same type. Side by side, I my real struggle. Oh snap, I don't know, dude. Dude, at first I thought they were like a chess set or something. <sighs> I don't know if I'm gonna take these out. Oh, so that's what they are, right there, look at that. My real struggle, what would you guys do? Let me know. Take them out of the box and display them or leave them in the box and display them because they are, they're big, they're pretty, they look nice, I, I don't know. Most of my Simpsons stuff I have opened at this point. So thank you, Ricky. It looks like, no, it's like if you bought like a, like a famous, like a statue head. You would yeah. put it on that type of thing. And that was almost the end of it, but then I reach in and there's one more thing and that's a Zelda. Oh yes, thank you. Animated, one of the Deke VHSs and I have to admit. <laughs> seen this one too many times at Ricky's house. No, this wasn't mine. I, got, I literally got that for you. I thought you had this. I don't have that. What? No, I literally got that from eBay. I was like, I need more. One wow. of the save searches I have on Mercari is Deke VHS because I used to love a lot of the cartoons and animated shows that were, that were made by Deke or produced by Deke or however you want to call it. Deke. Because it's one of my favorite old, oh. like, brands as far as old VHS goes. I'll just let you know now, the thing I was waiting for is another one of those. One of these? Another one of those. Thanks, Ricky. Thanks, dog. Yeah, dog. Appreciate it, thank you. It's crazy that sometimes stamps or production companies or whatever, certain things that are stamped onto a show kind of ingrained my mind as a kid, like, oh, I'm gonna have a good time, and Deke was one of those. Even watching Family Matters all the time, one of my favorite things and most memorable things, I hope I'm gonna say it right, was at the end of every episode, you would hear Carl say, Family Matters is distributed by Warner Brothers, Brothers Domestic, Domestic Television, Television Distribution. Distribution. And that's all we got. Thank you so much for watching the NES Pursuit. This, this is These Take Long to Make Sometimes. We weren't even planning on making this an episode. I just had a cell phone, and then I'm like, hey, I should narrate it because I had so much fun. And here we are. Thank you. He's my favorite human being. <laughs> I was thinking he was me. Honestly, thank you. If I could hug you right now through the camera, I would. Shut up. Oh my <laughs> God. I don't even care if COVID was getting you. I'd still hug you. So take that and enjoy my hug. Nice. nice. Too much good stuff. I'm about to get a chug. <laughs> what a good channel name. Ricky's happy collecting stuff. Yay! Close your eyes. Okay, uh, hey, cool. Close your eyes. Open your mouth. <laughs> oh, wow. Be stupid. Querido amigo, aquí él siempre brega muy bien con nosotros. Nos acaba de dar un buen discount. <laughs> Turn around, but keep your eyes closed, Ricky. Ricky, Ricky, turn around. Ricky, I'm wearing your shirt, by the way, dude. Sorry, you left it in my house. I washed it, and then I didn't have a shirt to wear, and I'm like, I'll just wear this. Sorry, Dark. Rumbo. Rumbo. Like, like, like how you say Rambo. 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 As Gabo would say, whatever. You're gonna keep the value high, bro. If you sign it, it's gonna go down at least like 30 bucks. Where up, bro? He needs what he needs. I don't know if I ever told you. I, uh, Yo, bro, I like this. Anymore? I like this green thing better than you. My daughter just looked over like, and I'm the amateur one. I can be. I can be. I can be. Come cool. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I got that on oh, camera, bro. <laughs> I see it. Oh, look over there, look over there. Wait, I'm filming myself, selfie mode. Stop backing up while I'm talking. Tower, game tower, game tower. Doggy, stop barking. I love you. No, no say it back, say it back. No, I love you, you have to say I love you. Oh, I mean, ta -ta 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 -ta. you're prettier than the box, though. Get that get easy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I need to buy something. Gotta hope for game.
Oh, What's going on? Cancel me now. Duh. Oh, where's he going? Bye bye. You am. Why you gotta make stuff up? I do make stuff, a lot of stuff up. <laughs> you make, ask my wife. Do you, you have a deal game? Hey, bro, aren't you the one walking around with like money hanging out your back pocket? Earlier, wait. Oh, yeah. Look, bro, you know how dangerous it is walking around in your back pocket? I thought about it. I got weapons on me, man. Right so do I. Yeah. Well, you want. <laughs> well. Oh. And he's like, hey, I want to give you some gifts. Oh, he's cruising around. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, Gabo's here. Turn on the camera. Mm. What do you have in the trunk, Hey, I have something to tell you, and I want to give you something. Really? Again? <laughs> Mike, you film so I can be on camera. <laughs> That's what I get for filming with the door wide open. Movie, documentary, biography. Hello. Let's take a sports game. Whoa, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going for a You're the man, dude. Nobody has thank you. I'm going to have to. You done?